Hello, my friends. Um, today it's not a story for you. Um, I am an English as a second language teacher. I teach immigrants in Canada English so they can survive. Uh, I teach very high level students who want to go to college, who want to go to university, get jobs, and I teach them language and skills and different things about Canadian culture. And one thing that they like to learn is, is uh, jargon, slang, idioms. And I'm going to start doing that on this channel um, for people to see if there's a need. And I know there is a need out there. So this first video is going to be business jargon. They like some business English and business slang, some really cool words. So we're going to start that. Um, see how this video goes. And, and if you like it, comment and tell me other things you'd want to learn and I can do videos. I would love to do some English language learning videos and I have some colleagues that would help me out. If you want grammar and slang and vocabulary and different things like that, I can do that. I love it. I'd love to do this. I would love to do this uh, full time. And I want to try it and see, but uh, hopefully my students will enjoy this. So here's uh, the first the first lesson you're going to get is some business jargon and uh, it's it's pretty good stuff. So uh, we're going to start with some cool words. OK, the first word is bell cow in business, in sales. If you have an item that is selling really well, the profit is much higher than what it costs to make it. It's a bell cow. Some people call it a blue chip. The bell cow is the item that you make a really good profit on and, and all the words will be on the screen you can see it so that's that's a one of those the second item that comes up the second word is bang tail like what is that a bang tail envelope or the bang tail you get an envelope and i'll show you a picture um you you get this envelope and attached to the envelope you're sending the bill to the customer is the bang tail. It's a coupon or an order form. So they have it right there in the envelope. They're opening the envelope to buy a product and this is the bang tail envelope. And I'll show you a picture. Okay, so you see what a bang tail looks like. The next word in our business jargon is a headhunter. <laughs> no, they're not hunting your head. This is a person who's hired to find executive positions in companies. They go around and they look for the best people and they bring them to their to the other companies. So they kind of steal them. They cut the heads off. And they go around and they, and they, they, they want to find people, the best people. So they hunt, they look, and they ask people and try to draw them into their company. And that's uh, something that happens. Uh, another uh, word is a paper pusher. If you're a paper pusher, you sit at your desk and you just do paperwork all day. It's a desk job, the paper pusher. Um, the headhunters don't usually look for paper pushers. They look for executives. But the paper pusher sits at a desk and does work. Okay, the next one is if you're working and you're kind of distracted and you need to buckle down. You got to buckle down. Buckle down means to get on with it. Get going and do that work. And we all get distracted sometimes. Everybody's got Netflix. You put Netflix on or you watch a hockey game or something. But you got to buckle down and get it done. Get her done. So that's that's a really good one. And you can use that in school. You can say that to your kids. you got to buckle down and get that studying done and do that and get that work done. So buckle down. Okay, here's here's another one. If, if you're working hard and you can't do it, you want to give up, you're going to throw in the towel. I'm throwing in the towel. I'm done. I'm hanging it up. There's two of them. Throw in the towel, hang it up. Done. Finished. I can't do it anymore. You see it in boxing? When a boxer's getting beaten so bad, the, the corner throws in the white towel, and that means it's over. The, so I'm throwing in the towel. I am done. Another one? Some people use this, and they say a powwow. Now, the uh, First Nations people have these... these uh, um, days and celebrations and they show off, they dance and they sing and they have their food and everything. That's a powwow. But in business, when people say powwow, it's a meeting. They want to have a meeting and think about things. They want to brainstorm. Brainstorming is a great 
thing, uh, get some good ideas. So you're going to have a powwow. Okay, the next one is kowtow. And you see it's spelled there. This is when you are um, catering to someone's every desire. You do everything for them. Whatever they want, you do it. You're subservient. You kowtow. Because uh, you're in fear of losing your job or, or not getting the advancement. So you're kind of sucking up, kissing butt. Uh, we, we have these sayings. So kowtow, suck up, kiss butt. You want to, to, to do these things for these people because you're afraid that you might lose your job. So that's a good one. But don't kowtow. Okay, so people are hanging around the office. And you hear people talking and you go up and you say, hey, what's the scuttlebutt? What's the scuttlebutt in the office? Scuttlebutt. What is the scuttlebutt? Well, scuttlebutt is the gossip and the latest news and things that you hear that are going around. That's the scuttlebutt. People have a, they talk around the, the water cooler, or the, wherever they are, the scuttlebutt. Sounds like a fun you know, little disease on your bum. It's just scuttlebutt. <laughs> but scuttlebutt. This is one I just taught my students. Um, you want to find a job. Some people just think they can sit at home and it's a passive uh, behavior. You can get a job, send out resumes. No, you got to go out and pound the pavement. Don't. <clears throat> you go around and you walk around and you take your resume to, to, to places. You hand it in. You let them see your face. You want them to see who you are and they can kind of remember you. Dress up nicely. But you go out and you pound the pavement. You walk around and you... You, you take your resume and you try to get a job. So you pound the pavement. That's a good one to remember. Okay, in the office, um, there's always a person that runs around and does everything for everybody. He's the gopher. Uh, the gopher does this. Uh, I, I need you to go for that. I need you to go for this. And he's a gopher, <laughs> like a little animal. But that's the gopher. He goes and he just does everything for everybody. Um, Some people, it's like an assistant, but not an assistant it's one person for 25 people in the office so he just go go for go for coffee go for this go for that he's the gopher that's a cool one when your boss asks you to do something and it's a big project you need some lead time the lead time is the time that you take before you do the project to get it done it's the time you need to get it done so you need you need a lead time you need like three days lead time to plan this party. We need some lead time before we can get this project done. So if they ask you, you know, they ask you to do a project, your boss, you need some lead time. Okay. Um, you're working on a project and something comes up and you have to delay the project. You put it on hold. It's like on the phone. I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to put this project on hold. I'm going to wait and we're going to see what we can do with it later. But you put it on hold. And uh, you're going to come back to it later. Sometimes you're very serious at work and you're doing your job well and you, you know, you're working hard. And then the boss goes away and everybody slacks off. They stop working hard. So if you slack off, you're not working as hard as you can be. You're not getting the job done. So don't slack off. And it happens. It happens. Uh, I know... When I'm in class teaching, everybody's there, they're serious, they want to, you know, learn. But if I'm away and there's a supply teacher, everybody slacks off and nobody does what they're supposed to do. Don't slack off. Do your job properly. Do it well. Be proud. This one's a good one. If someone talks a good game, they, they, they talk about how great they are, but can they actually do it? So he talks a good game, but can he step up to the plate? Ooh, there's baseball. But when you talk a good game, you you brag about what you're able to do, and you can say you can do this, you can do that. And man, that guy talks a good game, but can he actually play the game? Who knows? And this is one of my favorite ones. Schmooze. Schmooze. So, you go to a party, and there's high up people there, important people that can help you advance in your career. You go and you schmooze with them. You talk to them and you butter them up. You use the butter them up. You compliment them and you, you, you're networking. We call it networking, but schmoozing. I love that word, schmooze. So you schmooze with people to get advanced in, in your job or wherever you are. And that's 
schmooze. So that's a few words. It's not a lot, but I've given you some. And now I'm going to do a little review, quick review of the words that we learned or the expressions that we learned. Okay, very quick review. The first word was bell cow, and that's a product that makes good money. A bank tail, coupon attached to the envelope when you're um, sending a uh, bill out to your customers. Got a headhunter, someone who looks for executives and wants to hire them for a company. A paper pusher, someone who sits at the desk and works. Um, it's a, a desk job. Buckle down, get down and get working. Hang it up or throw in the towel. Both of them go together and that means you're gonna quit. I'm done like dinner. You have a powwow, which is a meeting. Uh, you have to get some ideas and brainstorm and you kowtow, which is you suck up and you kiss butt to try to get ahead and you don't wanna lose your job, so you do that. Scuttlebutt is the um, gossip in the office that people talk about. The gopher is a person who goes and does uh, everything and gets everything for everybody that needs it. Pounding the pavement is going out and looking for a job, taking your resume and actually going out there, walking around and going into places. Lead time is the time you need before to, to finish a project or to get a project something started. You need that lead time to get it going. Put on hold. You put something on hold, it's delayed uh, for a later date. Slack off. You're going to shirk your responsibilities. You're not going to do as much as you can. So when the boss leaves, everybody slacks off. Yeah, that happens sometimes. The second to last is talks a good game. Someone who's very confident, sometimes overconfident in, in, in their knowledge. They talk a good game. And the last one is schmooze. I like that. So hopefully you like this, uh, these words and leave comments if you like it. And I can do more. If you want me to do more, I'll do more. We'll see how this goes. We'll see what we can do. Thanks for listening. Hope you can use this business jargon.